Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are fine and doing well. Yes, and we are here continue with chapter number 8 cell. Okay, now we will discuss about what is eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell. Okay, now eukaryotic cell. Okay, the cell which have a nucleus. U means one. Okay, one. U, E, U is equal to 1. And karyotic means nucleus. Okay, so U karyotic means 1 cell. Now what about the prokaryotic cell? Just think, yes, the pro means primitive. What pro means primitive? And the karyotic means, yes, obviously nucleus. Okay, so there will be a primitive nucleus so there will be no boundary of the nucleus membrane so we can see that there will be no organized nucleus in that cell okay which cell yes that is prokaryotic cell understand yes so what we can see the prokaryotic cell that means there will be no nuclear membrane and the eukaryotic cell means there will be a complete nucleus. It will be covered by the nuclear membrane. So that is known as prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Understand? So there are some example of prokaryotic cell. Just think. An organism which have unorganized nucleus. Yes, there are bacteria and blue green algae yes these are the example of prokaryotic cell that means there will be no nucleus membrane inside that cell so these are the picture of prokaryotic cell understand and now we will see eukaryotic cell give me example first yes the cell which have a complete nucleus which is covered with the nuclear membrane Yes, give me answer. The answer is all the animal cell, plant cell and single cell. For example, that amoeba, paramecium, they all have a single nucleus inside that and which is covered with the nuclear membrane. Understand? And the organism shows variety in cell number, cell shape and cell size. Okay. So we will see here in detail. Okay, now the first one is a cell number, where it is in cell number. Okay, we know that there are so many types of organisms are living on the earth. Okay, but some have not organized nucleus, they are prokaryotic cell. Okay, and the some animals, they have a complete organized nucleus, they are eukaryotic cell. Okay. So eukaryotic cell, we can say that it is a single cell organism. So we can say this all the single cell organisms are known as unicellular organism. Understand? Unicellular organism. Okay? Yes, because they have only one cell. Clear? And now in other hand, if the organism contain more than one, it is known as multicellular organism okay now what will be the example just think about that yes a unicellular organism they contain one cell so we can say amoeba paramecium these all are the single cell organism okay and now if uh, we consider animals plants humans this all have a multicellular system that's why they are known as multicellular organism understand what are the difference between that clear good now the second point is variety in shape of cell okay see there are so many organisms they are living on the earth and they all are different from each other Okay, so we can say the cell is a basic unit of all the organism 
if the all organism having the same structure of cell then they how they can be the different from each other understand so that's why all the organism having a different organs and they all organs having a proper their function and to do that proper function they must have a different kind of cell okay clear so that's why they having a some different structure will be there okay so that structure or shape what will be that that we are going to discuss now so first we will consider a red blood cell okay where is it present yes in a blood and what is the function of that it carries oxygen to the all the parts of body okay clear and these are the picture of red blood cell okay now white blood cell okay what is the function of white blood cell yes they are fight against the bacteria and some other this is causing organism that may enter in our blood stream okay so they are the white blood cell we can say they are the fighter of our body or our system okay so see the structure how it is different from red blood cell and this is white blood cell okay and we can also consider a muscle okay what is muscle yes the muscle yes it helps to move our organ okay that is because of muscle the muscle having a property it can contract and relax contract and relax okay so that's why our body can move some movement okay our body can do some movement this is because of muscle and the muscle having this kind of structure okay because it is not a the layer like they are like a fiber so they having a this kind of shape understand yeah good now we will consider our nozzles okay so there is a one organ in our body which control all the movement of our body what is that brain and the brain is controlling all the system of our body just imagine how it is because of no cell okay the no cell it is a very different from other cells because they having a see this is the structure of the nose cell okay you can see here there is a nucleus okay this is the main part and this is the line it is like wire can you see yes this is the nose cell and how it is work see the nose cell it is pass the signal from brain to our body parts okay it also carry back to the brain so they are used to transmit a signal and they are very thin in a size very thin we cannot see by our naked eyes we have to use microscope understand and uh, what is the other yes our skin we can say yes this is a skin so it, it is in the form of layer obviously they also have some different kind of cell see this is the cell of our skin clear the same way in a plant there are some other function of the other parts for example leaf the leaf will make a food okay and that food will be transfer from leaf to all the parts of plant with the help of pollen okay now what about the xylem the xylem which carries the water which absorb by the roots and it will carry all the carry to the all the parts of plant okay and the plant has to make a food in the presence of sunlight and which is because of that chlorophyll yes no so that cell also have a different process or function what they will make a food okay so the function of that cell to make a food the phloem to carry food and for the xylem they will carry the water so these are the varieties of shape of cell okay now we will see the third point the variety in their size 
we know that some microorganism they are a very small we are talking about only single cell huh that single cell are very small we can see a uh, bacteria they all are very small in a size and even we cannot see by our neck dies so they are known as microscopic organism or microscopic cell okay yes because they are very small and we have to magnify them with the help of microscope or electron microscope okay with the help of electron microscope we can magnify more and we can see the more clear image compared to that simple microscope okay the length of this cell will be 0.1 micrometer okay 0.1 micrometer imagine how small it is okay that's why we need to microscope understand and it will be from 0.1 micrometer to 0.5 micrometer okay according to their different variety or category okay for example bacteria that myoplasma myoplasma so this bacteria having a length of 0.1 micrometer clear now there is some other cell they are bigger in the size have you seen the hen egg yes that egg is also single cell that single cell if you will measure the length of that egg it will be approximately 6 cm okay and if you measure the length of ostrich egg that ostrich egg they are about 17 cm long so see how much 17 that means this much bigger that is a single cell so we can say there are lots of variety in their length understand so after concluding this we can see the all the organism they have different shape different size different number according to their function clear now there is a question comes in a mind how our body is made okay how our body is made see our body is not a simple organism it is a very complicated organism okay we are a one organism but which complex organism okay so how we can say it is complex organism let's discuss about that if you want to know how the organism is made so we have to see inside them okay so let's take our body okay that is one organism yes if you see inside that there is a so many organs are there and they are working in a proper sequence so they we can say that organs are behaving in a system so we can say that is what organ system okay and this whole the organ system which is run by a single organ by single organ for example take our example of our digestion system okay this digestive system which is work with so many organism we start from our mouth then food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine so these are the different organ clear good now how this organ is made okay that is the question no how organ is made the organ is also made from a uh, so many layers of tissue there is the layer of tissue okay tissue it is a small layer and if they are arranged in a particular shape and they will form a organ clear and organ okay and the question is also comes what will be after that yes that is the title of our chapter cell by collecting so many cell they will form a single tissue and that tissue will form organ and that organ will work in a proper function and they will form organ system 
and this organ system will fix in a one a particular body and that body is known as organism understand now will you say what will be after cell yes now this is the uh, question of physics that is about electron proton or we can say in one word it is built of so many atoms okay so we can say that our life is start from a single cell and that single cell will be multiply and they form a tissue and the tissue they will multiply and they will arrange in a proper shape and size and they will form a organ and when this organ they will work in a proper sequence and it will form a organ system and when this organ system is fixed in a particular body and then it will become a organism clear so this was the our chapter number 8 cell okay i hope you all will have understand about the whole the topics of this chapter and you will know how our body is made from how the cell is made from and how the organs are made from how they are work what are the function of the cell how the size and the shape they are affecting on that function okay good thanks for watching have a good day